Hugh, what's our first question? Thanks, Ed. Our first question is, how important is vision for a founder and what is the best way to develop one for your startup? Ooh, Jacob, take it away. Oh, man. Uh, and this, uh, this gives me chills because this is this is what I'm I'm working on on a day-to-day -day basis. So I've, I've just created a, a guide that directly actually helps you figure out what your what your vision is. And to, to me, vision is so is so important because you got to know where you where you're going before you even start moving on a project. You know, it's kind of like you're going on a road trip. You, you know, are you going to the beach or are you going to the mountains? You got to know which way you're going before taking off. So for me, vision is that first step where, OK, I'm going to the beach. And then kind of your mission is how you're, how are you going to get there? What is it? What is the the vehicle or the path that you're going to take to, to actually get to that, that destination? Let me share something for the founders here. And just looking at the audience, I know some of you are raising funding. Vision is so important internally speaking. Mm -hmm. And Jacob, you've probably seen this where the vision is going to keep that fire going. It is yes. the wood. You might have a moment of inspiration and you might get passionate and that's like the spark you're passionate about solving a problem but a vision for your life the lives of your users the people that you're going to help that's what's going to keep you going up late at night in the middle of the night when things are really hard and also for fundraising this is a little inside baseball i don't like it when founders lead with vision right mm -hmm. out of the gate i don't like all that fluffy stuff i want to hear the problem and the solution just give it to me straight right between the eyes but then I want to know on the back end, how do you see the world changing? And I do test if the founder has the vision to keep them going because it'll be a 10, 20 year journey. And if you don't have that vision, keeping you up at night, just keeping you warm and energized, then you are going to get distracted. You're gonna peter out. And as an investor or any investor is gonna tell you long-term, like this is a long-term marriage. Just like, you know, Jacob, you're a family man, just like me. If I don't have a vision, like I may love my wife, but that's not enough. And I know this is probably going to, you know, we have <laughs> Jen about to get married, you know, and thinking, oh my goodness, like, what are you talking about? If love is not enough. All right. Love will not keep us alive. It is not going to happen. One of the secrets is that I have a vision for my marriage, what my marriage looks like and how my kids are affected because our marriage is the way that it's supposed to be. I have a picture of the future. And it's the same way that I approach startup vision. And I say, can I see the picture of the future? Because it gets hard. My passion is not enough. Money's not enough. All the extrinsic stuff's not enough. The team is not enough. I have to be just completely involved in growth. I'm going to bring an example up. You know, everybody, Mark Zuckerberg got a billion dollar offer to sell Facebook, a billion dollar offer sell Facebook from Yahoo. Every single one of his team said, take the deal, take the deal, take the deal. And he said, no, not gonna take the deal. Why? Because he had vision. He said, Facebook is meant to be more than what Yahoo is going to do with it. And guess what? I believe, someone can fact check, fact check with this for me. I believe that his entire team quit. Mm -hmm. And he was like, no. And now look at what Facebook is now. Like we're talking billionaires multi times over. I forget what their last valuation was, but it's something absolutely ridiculous. If he would have been short sighted in his vision and not committed to it, he would have sold too early. And that's super important. You know, Jake, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I, I think it's so powerful to have a vision that keeps you on, on track. It, that is that that's the thing that I think it's it's the most important is your your why. That's your, why you're existing. It's why your company exists. It's why you exist moving towards that 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 vision and you know without that vision then you are going to to take the path of least resistance because it's there i uh, i think I, I wrote a post about about this the other day of i went running out of town there were a whole bunch of hills and i just kept running down the hills because it was easier and then i reached my goal of my distance and all of a sudden i looked back up at all those hills and realized oh i've actually got to get back home and so I had much further to go because I just kept taking this, this easy path. There are things that are worth doing that are hard. And without vision, if I had planned a little bit better, maybe I would have just done a loop and it would have been better in the long run for me to run up a few of those hills. That's great. You lost me at running, but I'm going to take your word for it <laughs> that this is a practical example. 